Rider, Bar, Stool Entertainment, doing another locations, encounters, etc. video. Now, I've posted some of the lockbox locations in previous videos, but I decided to refresh them in this video. And one encounter I know for sure I posted in another video, and I'll leave a link below. But one of the things interesting is my fifth playthrough, I am playing Arthur with very low honor. And I noticed in a conversation with a person, a friend at camp, it was kind of different because of the low honor. But let's get on with this video. And the first is an encounter I previously dealt with. If you are familiar with the night folk, um, yeah, I usually die after I encounter them. Quit crying and talk to me, goddammit! Wow, Arthur survived. Usually, night folk are a one-hit kill. Arthur's dead. I think it has to do with him having gold cores. I'll leave a link to a video below on how to get them. Now I'm just going to loot the corpses and move on to the next encounter, which is actually in camp. And as I said, I'm playing Arthur to uh, low honor and... Mary Beth, who usually is nicer to Arthur, well, she has a different conversation with him. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? Well, I've been robbing a bunch of people that didn't deserve it. Taking the easy money. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. Finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Again, I think it's due to Arthur having low honor. But let's get on to another encounter Arthur has. Now, if you ride across this bridge to the north of the strange man's cabin in the Bayou NWA at night, you encounter these moonshiners in the swamp. And I've never encountered them before. And this is my fourth playthrough. <laughs> Yep. Hey, I'd keep moving if I was you. What did I tell you? Get the hell out of hey, here. Hey, calm down. Maybe you can help us. It ain't like this is going well. Really? Ah, shit. Nothing to lose, I suppose. Come on. The truth is, mister... Our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Why not? World could always use more moonshine, right? I saw some milkweed nearby. Really? Well, I have that on me. Go on, lazy bones. 
toss the plants into the batch so we can test it out. Place them in the hatch on the side of the still. All right. I'm going to give this a taste. Would shine, not at all. Tastes like licking liniment. <laughs> that ain't good at all. Oh, well, can't win them all. We'll try again later. Damn. We got a rare victual in that chest there. Take it. I'd say you earned it. Appreciate it. Next time, goodbye. I apologize for not showing you the location on the map. Arthur was already riding on by the time I realized I should have shown the location. But it's north of the Strange Man's Cabin in Bayou Noir. And you come over that one covered bridge and you have to do it at night, I think. But I've never encountered these guys before. Now I'm going to show you some lockbox locations. This first one is a little hard to find. It's on top of a hill. So I'm going to show you on the map where it exactly is located. The location for this is right here. On top of this mountain hill, uh, near Cumberland Forest, under the D, kind of diagonal from the T, and right here. And this lockbox actually contains some decent loot. Two billfolds, a large and small jewelry bag. Not bad. Now, let's go on to the next lockbox location. This next one is under a bridge, and it's supposed to be hidden pirate treasure. <laughs> This location is right here under this bridge heading east, and it's by Blue Marsh, just, uh, I want to say, west of Pleasance at this crossroads area, and it contains some decent treasure. It's supposed to be hidden pirate treasure, and there's a dead alligator there, and as you can see, I'm not too concerned about things. So let's move on to the next lockbox location. This next one is a little tricky to find. And once you find it, well, you'll you know see why it's kind of hard 
It's hidden under this wagon. This wagon is located just south of Butcher's Creek and just north of Huron's Glen, right here. You can't miss it. Now let's move on to the next lockbox location. This lockbox is not too far from the previous lockbox and it's in another odd location. I'll show you on the map here. This location is right here to the south, I want to say east, of the bridge that goes over the river near Elysium Pool, as you can see near Butcher's Creek as well. And now the item you probably miss and you have to do during a mission, and it is the one where you burn down Braithwaite's house. Yeah. People miss this a lot. When they call you to get Catherine Braithwaite and help, ignore them. Come over to here and you will steal a gold shield. It's the Braithwaite's gold shield. And it's during when you burn down the Braithwaite's mansion. Then you can go back up and help Dutch. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I hope you found these locations and encounters fun and informative. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week and you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.